Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. Today we're going to be doing part 3 of Defect Spaceship Destruction Kit. And we'll start with uh, this one. So I played this a little bit um, between the episodes because I've been trying out different things. And uh, I didn't play any of the new missions yet, I just replayed missions. Wow, this ship is expensive. This is my new design. It's really expensive apparently, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's worth it. You'll see. You'll see once we get in there. This is uh I actually made a good design on this one. Found that the missiles were particularly effective, but So on top of the campaign, there's also uh, a couple other modes I didn't realize were here. There's an endless mode where they just send ship after ship after you and you just keep going however long you can. And then there, uh, you can choose to fight against specific ships, like your friends ships, or um, if you got, you know, like friends on, on, um, on Steam. So, yeah, and I figured out a couple other things, like with the controls, like if you see here on the uh, left, switching between them with Q and E, which is pretty, pretty useful because basically the thing on the left is kind of like your power station. So wherever you put the cursor on, that's where your main power is going to be at. And so if you want to uh, have your engines be more effective, you really got to put your, your energy into your engines. And then if you want to take control of weapons specifically, which is always good to do, you can just switch right over to them. As you can see, my missiles, the missiles are super effective and I really like them because <laughs> They just destroy everything. The patented Captain Oddball missile missile system, missile mark one. What the hell just happened? Did I win? Hmm. Okay. I'm really confused. I guess I won. So yeah, one thing I would like to see more of, I'm sure they're going to add, uh, is more of a tutorial. But I also assume that uh, a lot of this stuff they're going to explain more as it goes. So yeah, like I said, with the power here, if you want to be able to turn better, you got to switch over to one of your wings. And as you can see, my turn speed is much faster. And then if I switch to my engines, I'm going to speed up. And it works for all of your components. So if you're about to take a hit, uh, you can switch to your hull or your shields. As you see, I've got two shields. And you can actually change the side, size of the shields. Um, but once they fly inside of there, you, you can get hit. So that's something you got to be wary of, too. Oh. Get up there and light these, these ships up. The missiles are pretty effective. Like... Um, Especially like you see on my this ship design, um, I've got six missile launchers on it, so uh, it's fairly effective. Switch to my engine, and I've actually got two engines on this because I want to be able to. Um, I needed to be able to have enough speed, but as you can see, yeah, those are each one of those is a missile launcher, just right off the bat there. So this is a really pretty game, um, especially when you like zoom out. Crap, they're lighting my ship up. You see how the missiles go. And one thing I didn't realize before, you these little ships are annoying because they're just flying all over here, but once I catch up to them, they're going down. There we go. I just don't have enough time to grab the scrap, which is a real problem. I think I just got to keep the ship safe. There we go. Light them up, light them up, light them up. And it's important to switch between these, like, especially um, if you've got turrets, you can switch back and forth. If one of your turrets is gonna. Um, one of your turrets has an issue, you can uh, switch to your other turret. Sorry, I gotta remi remind myself to look up the TV here. I gotta output it on the TV. 
That way I'm not looking down the whole time. Oh god, oh god, I got hit straight on by some missiles. It's one thing, even with, uh... This is a pretty good ship, and it's got the, the shields and everything, but even so, if I get hit straight on by the missiles, I'm done. Ah, oh, crap, crap, crap. No! I gotta repair all of these. Especially my hull. I got no... Damn it, I got no... No scrap, because I haven't been able to grab any. I can't even turn anymore. This is bad. Oh, <laughs> this is really bad. Oh no! Not a good start. So it looks like I need a, a ship that's a bit more maneuverable for that that level. Obviously, that uh, the ship that I had was a little bit bulky for that. So let's see. So if I launch, is it? Hmm. That's weird. That might be a bug. When I built the ship before, it said I had 1,700 scrap left, and now it still says 1,700 scrap, but it costs like 2,300 to build it. So mm, that seems like a bug. Because if my ship gets blown up, I should definitely have to um, pay to build a new ship. Although you could def you could run out of scrap doing that too. So. I can understand why they might not put that in there. Alright, let's see. So yeah, switching between these is important and you can scroll up and down with the mouse wheel. Uh, all the game mechanic design elements and stuff that I've seen in this are really um, just good, good choices. They're uh, kind of intuitive in a lot of ways. And that's uh, really important when you're making a game. But I do think it needs more tutorial anyway, just because some of the uh, some of the finer game mechanics are a little bit um, hard to figure out. And I'll show next time I build a ship, I'll show a little bit more about how you have to balance between the different types of parts in order to get the um, in order to have your ship going fast enough and and be maneuverable and all that. Like I thought earlier that you couldn't put more than one uh, jet on it. But that's not true, you just gotta make sure that you've got enough stabilization, which is why I've got this really big wing right here. It's supposed to be vertical, but it's kind of hard to tell with the, um, with the top down view, but um, that wing adds a ton of stabilization on. It was really costly as far as resources go. So I'm just gonna try to cover these. This is a problem too. Even with these shields, if they hit me with the missiles, I will get blown up, as you saw. And because these ships are so maneuverable, I really gotta be careful. Oh crap. Oh, see, just like that. It's bad. And there goes all my... <laughs> yeah, there goes all my... Uh, my scrap that I had. See, I'm going to have to design a new ship, and that's going to cost me resources, which sucks. I don't think I can do this level. I'll have to switch to a different level. I'll have to come back to this level, because... It doesn't let me pick up scrap, and then my ship's just not fast enough to get out of the way the missiles in time. Not doing much good. Like if you zoom way out, this game gets really interesting, pretty looking. It's good looking anyway. Like a lot of times, games on early access are kind of a mess, but this is really this game's very impressive as far as the polish on and everything for early early access. And if you look on the page, they they put it on in December, and then they said that uh, they're planning on keeping it up for six months in early access, and then um, being done with it. Uh, enough to put it to regular so top speed above 40 okay let's do a new ship we got a couple designs that I've been messing with here um, floating nine so mass eight uh, doesn't show me the speed on there that would be nice to know 
I have to load this up. So top speed's only four, but steering and stability are good. And it doesn't weigh much, so I think that makes it so that... I mean, yeah, common sense is it makes it so it'll go faster. I've got just way too many armor components on here, though. I thought originally that was the way to do it, but... You see, my armor is super high, but I think what I need actually is... Um, where did I get the scrap from? That's got to be a bug, too. I, I shouldn't have... What I really need is shields. Shields make a big difference. But I think I'd have to take off way too much of this armor. I just have to... The only thing they were shooting at me was missiles, so I th think I'll just try to avoid the missiles. I think the turrets will be better, because they can shoot in all the different directions. Still not as good as the patented four-way laser defense. Four-prong. But, turrets are still good. And I'll show you how you can kind of switch between them. So, yeah, two and three. And as you see, once I start shooting that, that green thing will fill up. And that's, once it gets to the red, that's when it overheats. So, you just shoot this one off and then switch to the other one. Switch back. And if you do that, then you don't have to worry about it overheating. And you can pretty much shoot all the time. So I'm gonna go right at this, these enemies here. Oh, I guess they do have some lasers too. I don't know why my crew's not really shooting much. There we go. These uh. These other guns are good too. I forgot I put those on. They're like bolt guns. So, the turrets are kind of like the uh, easy one to go with, I think. Uh, just assuming that the turrets are going to be the best. But I think there's a real capability here if you stack. Like I had those missiles stacked. If you stack a bunch of guns and like, especially if you focus on like a specific area. As you can see, I've got it kind of shooting in front of me and just kind of... Um, all over but okay looks like my crew's starting to shoot now oh god okay yeah it's good to have a little bit more maneuverability here so I'm just gonna try to stay with my ship yeah so yeah I think it's a pretty cool looking ship got a lot of armor on it obviously oh that's bad that's bad So yeah, I'm gonna light these ships up. Crap. I think I get a little bit of backup out here. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. There we go. That. I need that scrap, because if I get hit by one of these missiles... Alright. All power to engines. Engines go. I really need that. Yeah, it's only 70. Okay, that's good. We got some bogeys. We got some bogeys. Shake them. Shake them loose. Where's the ship? That's what I need to be focusing on. Where's the ship? Let's get back over to it. Looks like they're getting lit up a little bit. Let's keep shooting, uh, shooting these bogeys. There we go. Wish I could go back for some of that scrap, but I need to get to the ship. Come on. Get those missiles out of here. So you can use the numbers too to switch between. Um, obviously only for certain stuff like the first nine of them, but um, yeah, for it. So when you set up your um, when you build your ship, like you saw me do before, when you're putting them on the left and you're choosing the, um, the layer that you want them on, crap, that's a lot of missiles, um, you should put them like in the order of their most importance that you want for like the power and stuff because obviously I can switch right between a lot of my, uh, my stuff right here, but if I scroll down, I can't switch between those easily. Crap, 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 that's not good. Oh, we took a hit, we took a hit there. 
And as you can see, this is where it really becomes an issue to have, um, oh God, to have so much, so many different like layers of armor, because I can't really repair them very easily. God, I'm getting destroyed out here. All right, but the good thing is, is like either either way, even if you're getting blown up, it looks like you can still earn stuff. What are we doing here? there for a minute but right back to the menu so it doesn't matter all right let's try doing this one apparently that other mission is pretty tough so we'll see how this one goes the floating knife and I did realize after uh, I designed a couple ships that you can you can't choose the name, like you can't type in the name, but you can cycle through the names that they already have. Okay, so I guess I gotta take out the mines ahead. Alright, a couple of ships. Assume they're not friendlies. Those don't have very much armor on them. Give me that. Give me that scrap. Back to the wing. So as you see, switch to the wing when I gotta turn. Switch back to my engines when I gotta go fast. Go fast, go fast, like uh, Sonic would say. Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He's a video game character. Alright, engines up. Go, no, no, go. See, I need to scrap in case I get hit, but at least there's no missiles this time. I kind of wish my... I really wish my crew would shoot more. They don't... They're not shooting a whole lot. Oh, I didn't see the mines. Those are the mines, I guess. I don't know. That's confusing. Like, if you want me to... If you want me to learn how to do the mine thing, then you can't just, like, send a bunch of ships at me, like, which are going to distract me from doing the mine thing. Like... Either I'm learning how to do the mines or I'm shooting it out with the ships. You can't do both. Let's try this again. I don't know, maybe the maybe the ships like this just have so much more armor, but it seems like I'm going up against ships like that and I'm blowing up pretty fast. So, I don't know. That's confusing, I think. Like it doesn't have a shield or anything, it just looks like a regular ship. I don't know, those are, maybe they're not as big, they're pretty close, I think. Alright. All power to the port. Port, sp port speed, that's the thing. Don't look it up. What's happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I got hit. Wait, what? What mine? <laughs> what mines? I'm not seeing the mines. Okay. No, I don't. No, I don't understand. I'm gonna try this one more time. This has been this has been very confusing so far. I don't know. It seemed much earlier than last time. I don't know if that was a bug or not. Let's try this again. I'm gonna fly way ahead. Maybe just maybe the mines are really hard to see. I I don't know. I feel like I was flying pretty close to the ship and uh, didn't see any mines. 
Oh, they're putting the mines out from behind the ships? Okay, well, that definitely explains it. Okay, 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 I got it. Definitely that was my fault. Those mines do need to be easier to see though. That's a, that's a design issue. Some things are really hard to see when you're zoomed out. That's gotta be... Mines have gotta be one of the things that can't be hard to see. Alright, come on. Come on, engine. Power to the engines here. Let's get moving. I think there's more mines right up there. Go. I'm lighting these ships up. We just got to, uh, just got to get all the. Damn it! There's so many mines. Come on! Oh my god! Try to fly around the mines. For God's sake! Come on, man! Make my job a little easier. No, 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 no! There's more. Oh god! Why are there so many of them? Oh, why doesn't the ship have any guns on it? This is terrible. No, I just lost, didn't I? Oh, no, that's not... I thought that was my ship that blew up. Damn it, I'm missing out on scrap. The scrap thing is a really cool idea, but also... When you have something like this focused on what you have to be doing... You can't really get all that scrap. I mean, that's, a, that's like a waste. I need that to build ships but at the same time if I try to go back for it I'll definitely fail so I don't really know how to get around that oh okay, I can't see alright nope nope switch to the gun oh god oh god oh god oh god nope 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 alright that was my fault that was uh bad flying apparently something happened I don't know all right we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode there thanks so much for tuning in thanks for coming by have a great day hey everybody ultimate oddball here if you want to stay up to date with my videos click subscribe I release a new video on Monday Wednesday and Friday I do gaming commentary and review, I talk about my experiences on the autism spectrum, and I share my opinions and thoughts on a variety of matters. My hope is that, through my videos, I can help to dispel some of the misinformation, confusion, and negativity people have regarding autism. Thank you for helping me do that by watching these videos.